Welcome to the CyberArms webcast Securing Microsoft Exchange Outlook Web Access. My name is Maximilian and I'm going to show you how to lock down your Outlook Web Access system. Please do not use anything contained within this webcast to exploit systems you do not own or you do not have permission to do so. It's illegal and I don't want to see you going to court. This video is about how to secure systems, not about how to exploit them. Outlook Web Access was built to remotely access mailboxes and public folders. Using Outlook Web Access, you can access your emails from everywhere with a web browser, Microsoft Outlook or with mobile devices. But so can everybody else with an internet connection. People can start guessing passwords with often used account names like backup, hostmaster, administrator and so on. With Active Directory, many companies like to use the email address as login name. This means everybody who knows your email address also knows your Windows account name. Unsuccessful logins are locked on the server, so an administrator can see the source of a possible intrusion attempt. More advanced hackers use brute force utilities to gain access to a system. As preparation for this webcast, I've written a brute force utility which uses a username file and a password list which can be found in the internet. The brute force attack is much faster than using a login box. Many login attempts are sent in a very short period of time. The server fills its security log with thousands of unsuccessful login messages. Within this short period of time, more than 6,000 login attempts were submitted to the server. A decrease of system performance can be an indicator for a brute force attack. The server is busy answering all the HTTP requests and to authenticate the users. Our brute force utility has found three valid passwords. Let's try to log in. As you can see, it's easy to gain access to a system and it's not only Outlook Web Access, but any other system which requires user authentication. You might say, nice demonstration, but this is no problem for us. We have a strong company firewall. The problem with firewalls is that it's not their job to monitor failed logins. The firewall prevents your network from um, port scans and it verifies the protocol is valid. As this example uses HTTPS, the protocol is valid. By default, Windows can lock out a user account after a given number of bad logins. But would you like to lose access to your company resources because somebody else tried to log in with your account? IDS tools like Snort monitor the network for unusual traffic. As the protocol is encrypted with HTTPS, Snort cannot look into the packets. In our test lab, Snort did just report small TCP IP segments, which can be anything. But what could be a solution to this serious security problem? CyberArms has developed an intrusion detection and defense system, short IDDS, which recognizes failed logins and locks out the IP address of the client, not the user account. After a period of time, it releases the IP address. The installation of CyberArms IDDS is very easy. Ensure that the full version of Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.0 is installed on the machine. Visit CyberArms.NET and download the free edition. After the setup process, the machine is already secured against brute force attacks. Setup has installed a Windows service called CyberArms Intrusion Detection Service and an administration front-end. 
the software can also be extended by custom agents. So you will be able to create your own security agents in a very short period of time. But let's have a look at the standard functionality. We're going to test the CyberArms IDDS. What will happen when we run the brute force utility again? It stops responding and we're not able to connect to the system anymore. The client is locked out. The intrusion detection administration tool displays the blocked client. It can also be used to remove the lock to release the client. We offer a free edition of IDDS, limited by the number of locks per day. To unlock this limitation, you can simply buy a license from our website and activate your Pro Edition. Licensing is per machine and does never expire. For more information about the CyberArms IDDS, please visit cyberarms.net or subscribe to our Twitter account CyberArmsNet or on Facebook. We provide security and product related information on a regular schedule. Thank you very much for watching this webcast. I will be happy to see you installing the CyberArms IDDS. Start securing your systems today.